Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sue. In today's video, I would like to introduce a cool method that we can use in activity, which is inserting new record to our database. So right now, I have this uh, office equipment data type under this class. And within this class, we have four records. What I want to do is to create a new case and as I enter some info here it's going to push those user input to our database so you can see right now we don't have this 111 data record right but once I click submit and when you go back to your database and click refresh it's going to push this record here so if you're interested in how I do that let's continue to watch this video to make our job easier I have already created like a foundation application for us to build stuff based on that um, you can go to my github and you will see this office 010101 version and all you need to do is to click it and download here I've already downloaded and when you go back to your Pega Studio you want to go to configure application distribution and import and choose that file go to next If you have a question about this step, you know, how, do, how did I create this application a rule set? How did I import it? How did I export? I have another video talk about this in detail, so I'll put the link down below. Okay, now we have already imported my office application. How do we find it? Well, you can go to your operator and add access group. Once you save it, you can switch application to my office application okay and now you are here so uh, let me go to dev studio first and uh, let's take a look of this case type see what is in this case type and how are we going to create new rule based on this first version so right now we can't build anything on top of this because um, our rules set is locked Okay, now when we come back to our case type and refresh it, you'll see the warning's gone. Let's take a look when we create a new case. Pretending I'm a case worker and my job is to update our inventory. For example, well, today's Saturday, I'm not supposed to be at work. Well, just pretending today's Monday, and we have this new equipment called what? Um, let's do. We have new chargers coming in. 
and say 111 of them and cost $11 for each one. My, and my job is just to enter a bunch of information here. But once I click Submit, I want the database be able to cache those data and uh, upload it over here. So that's today's goal. The way we do it is by using activity. So imagine like how, how this works. What we want to do is to after we click submit, something's going to happen to help me save record, right? As I describing this behavior, you should have a broad idea of what I'm talking about. First, we need activity, but where do we put this activity? The answer is the flow action. Let's take a look of our process. Okay, we need to do save as because right now it's under the 01 version, which is which is locked. Let's create a new rule set and put it under 02 and close that one. All right, you can see this is our flow action. You double click it. and open your flow action. A flow action can do tons of things. For example, you can change the section you know, by um, going to the layout tab, or you can do a validation rule. And under this third tab, action, you see pre-processing pre and post-processing. Pre-processing is you want to do stuff before the step. But in our case, you can imagine we don't want to do any stuff until we click the submit button, right? So that just sounds like a post processing to me. So under the post processing, you see you can apply data transform, run activity. Today we're going to run an activity. And I'm going to call this activity um, insert new. Okay, looks about right. Create and open. Because we want to update our database. And you can see our database is under a different class. So let me copy that and paste over here. In activity, you can't just set a property. You will have to create a new page as a container to copy stuff. So I'll call this page um, new page. Under the step, I'm going to create a new page. It's actually called page new. And the name of that page new we just created was new PG, right? So now we have this new page. What are we going to do with this new page? Oh, we want to set a property. We want to set the property in our database here to be the input here, right? So what we can do is to use another method called property set. And now it's asking us which where's the target and where's the resource coming from. So we're going to set our data record property. This one under this class. How do we tell Pega? Like how do we communicate with Pega? If you remember, we just create a new page under the data page, right? So I am going to use that page and new PG that name equals to um, this current work page that enter new equipment. If you don't know what this is, 
you can always go back to your work case. And you can see we have enter new equipment that contains name, inventory, and the price of three fields here. And now we know it's definitely this one and we want the name to be exactly the same. And we do the inventory and the price. Okay, so now say, hey, it looks like we are done, right? But we are not because we only set a property. You haven't saved the page yet. Yes, this is an extra step. But if you don't do it, it's go not going to work. So not only we have this new page, we also have to do object save. Under object save, I want you to click this arrow expand to see the method parameters okay you see um, you can check the box they have right now right uh, with arrows and only new so in our situation we want to write now now we're good to go Once you click save, we have this activity ready, right? And you go back to your flow action and uh, save this to your flow action. Make sure it's there under action. Yep, insert new. Okay, save it. Now, let me refresh my case. Okay, uh, let's still do charger. Oh, maybe we have 999 and the price $10. Okay, before I click submit, let's go back to make sure our database doesn't have this instance. Okay, you can see there's no charger, and uh, let's push it to our data record. Oh gosh, it's not working. What the heck? Okay, looks like it didn't work. Well, let's go back to our activity. It's got to be something that we missed in our activity. Okay, let me take a look. First, we create a new page, right? And then we set property. And then we save the object. Okay, this is why we didn't specify the page. New PG. Let me try one more time. Now we save that activity and um, create a new case. Let's do, uh, what else can we do? Headphone, inventory, 111, price 111, and submit. Go back to our database and refresh. And you can see, yes, it did work. That's just telling me that our activity worked just fine. And just like that, you are able to save record to your database. I hope you guys find this video useful. In my next video, I plan to talk more about activity of how to update inventory. So I'll see you guys next time. Hope you all have a great weekend. Thank you.